going on? Captain Chad, yeah, I got, I got Ralph with me. Yes, sir. Got a bottom fish bite going on. <laughs> got the beeliners and triggers. <clears throat> Get a little, little sneak peek. Oh, man, look in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, these boys know what's happening. Putting the baits on the bottom, bringing the fish up to the top. Brad's over here keeping the grunts out of the way. We're out here fishing in 140 foot of water out of Jacksonville. Got a bunch of Jacksonville boys pulling fish over the rail, one after another. We almost got that beeliner limit. What you got, Ralph? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Blow that as rear main seal. <laughs> Yeah, he's good. Go with me. Let go of me. All right. Getting the trigger fish going. Got some grunts going. Yep, we got to stay up high. We'll get them trigger fish going, boys. The beeliners will be up high, too. That's a good one there. Oh yeah, now we're doing some damage. Sammy, I need some help catching two at a time. I need a third hook. <laughs> oh, big old grass porgy. Grass porgy. I'd have thought it was a black drum. <laughs> Yeah, put him right here, we'll measure him. We need a whole bunch of them. Just drop him right here. That's a good one there. What's that? <laughs> I don't play. Good beeliners. Oh, yeah. That's a real good one. He came off the hook easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think you're good. I'm gonna stay outside of you. Yeah, you're good. That's why I throw it out there. I can stay outside of you. This one ain't gave up. I must have two on here. No, I got one fat, big old fat one. Look at there, what a beeliner. Golly, that's the one you're looking for right there. Mm hmm. I guess they just turned off, didn't they? Oh, I got a fish on there, didn't even know it. Over here, quiet but silent but violent. Got them on both sides of the boat. Oh no, ain't nothing to film on this side. Look at that shark. Oh man, look at that one. 
Look at that, what I have for beeliner. Dogging man. That was a nice one, too. It was. Yeah, so I wonder why I got so good. Oh, a shark came and got his bait. Yeah, he's good. Man, it's getting electric up here in the front of the boat. Got one on this one, too. Left side of the boat's quiet over there. It's all the way up too. Almost here. Back in them. Man, that can't believe something that small fight there. He's a keeper. Yeah, but man, he's supposed to be twice that size the way he was fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger! Yeah, Mr. K. All right. All right, let's get him off the hook. What's on this end over here? I don't know. You got something here. He's spinning circles. Yeah. Ah, he did all Put him in the, hooked him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> one, got one popping it to you over here? Oh yeah. There you go. And we got the whole fish. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't got the whole he got the whole fish this time. Now the last one, that fish wasn't very strong. Get the camera away. With his, with his lower unit missing. Alright. Bring it in line, Mr. K. Nope. Uh, Turn the tight the drag up. Okay. Here we go. Now he's getting something going. Here we go. Oh, he's going way out there, huh? Nah, be it's acting like it. Got another one behind him. He might have both of them on here. With a shark? Yep. Uh, no, nah, he just got a shark and a beeliner and another shark chasing him. Uh, trying to get that beeline off of his butt. Mm-hmm. Dang. Yes, sir. A nice little school. Look at all the bait fish. <laughs> yeah, he got the remora. That's the remora, and there's an amber jet, and that's that shark. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. Now the shark done got that hook on him. Now he come off. That was wild. Mahi? Yeah, yeah. They got oh, the get him, get him, get him. The rock, get that rock. Right. Come on. Come on out to the right. Uh-huh. Gone, right? Yep. Try to get in there. Maybe it's a 14 pound mango. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. 10 pound mango. Any size mango would be good with me as long as it's over 10 inches, but that there, whatever that is, is well over 10 inches. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I ain't no mango. I mean, ain't no shark. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the right one. Walk up forward. Walk up yeah, some mutton. Right yep, Bring him out that way. This way. All right. That's the right one. Yep. Take those all day. All right. Well, I guess I have to wait back. Yeah. Big old pretty mutton snapper. Where's my hook remover at? Got him. There you go. There you go. Leave him in the water. Leave him in the water right there. Leave him in the water. Leave him in the water. 
just leave him in the water out there. Oh, shit. Just leave him in the water out there. It's hard to do, though, ain't it? You got some nice fish that's so pretty, you want to get him out of the water. Pretty. Yeah. Interesting. Well, that's a good size one there. Yeah. See him? Yeah. Uh, he won't make the cut with it, Captain. Too short. Uh, he looks short, yeah. Can't get them interested in nothing. They want to chase it, but then they don't want to eat it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Here you go. You take this. Let him run. Just take it easy. Yep. He went down. Slow down. Slow down. Don't want to. When it's clicking, don't want to. Don't want to be reeling. He's way down there. Look at them all in the water. I'll put your rod tip to the left. Rod tip to the left. There you go, like that. You got mahi all in the water under the boat. Easy, easy, easy. Look at them blue dots on the side. Isn't that pretty? That's a good one. Oh, yeah. So anyway, bottom fishing out here had a weed line come by and we've had several schools of mahi just swim right up under the boat. And uh, we've got three in the box, got this one on we're fighting now. They're swimming all under the boat, throwing chum. They're trying to eat the chum, throwing baits on hooks and they're just not interested in it. So I had a little bit of a jig and threw it out there, started reeling it real fast, tried to get them fired up and this one nailed it. And he's one of the bigger ones of the group. This little rod he's got them on is not the best one for the mahi. Don't pick his head up out of the water. Leave his head flat. There we go. We got him. All right, get that jig out of his mouth. I got the rod. Nice fish. All right, cool. Throw it in. Throw it in. Throw it in. Throw it in. Three colors. Big bait. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beast mode B. I want you to tell me what three colors look like when I go to sleep. All right. So this is one. Nope. That's that's clear line. Okay, that's clear. Okay, yep. three colors. That's right. Uh -huh. That's one. Oh, that's one. There you go. One. Two. 
Yep, two. Go to the end of the blue now. That's the third color, and then go to the end of it. All right. You'll see where it stops on your reel. Right there. Right there. Oh, yeah, you ain't holding your mouth right. <laughs> Come on, Red, let's show him how to do it. <laughs> Drop it in about 10 more feet, about a half a color. There you go, so three and a half. There you go. Hell, my mouth right in. That's right. Uh, boys is stomping them over here. Ain't nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. My man got him on though. He showed you how to do it. He got him on. He did my he'd come back. Shark's back. Trigger fish. He gonna be close. I'm gonna put him on a tape measure. Got the fish on in the front. Fish on in the front. Another one? Yeah, he back at it again. He looking like he got purpose this time. Uh oh, fish on on the side. Oh yeah, fat bee line. Nice one. So if you look right here, you see it's 140 foot deep and the fish are from 100 down to 140. And typically the bee liners and the trigger fish are up above, they're up above the rest of the fish. Grunts and so forth are right on the bottom so you want to fish, he's short. Grunts are right on the bottom so you want to fish up above the bottom. So what I like to use is the color line. See the different colors? Oh yeah, man in action right there. So you can buy the colored braid online or many places. You know that strike zone actually off Beach Boulevard in Jacksonville, but it's 30 feet. Each color is 30 feet. So if you drop it down three colors, you know you're at 90 feet. That gives you no guesswork when you're trying to pick a certain depth to put your bait. So uh, big key, works good. Matter of fact, let me show you how well it's been working for us. Oh man, look at that bee liner right there. That's a nice one now. Yeah. yeah. Works good. Anyway, get you some colored braid for your line. Oh man, he popped it. You say just a trigger fish? That's what we're looking for. Man, I know you didn't hesitate to pull the trigger. <laughs> what you over here grunting for? I got something on it. He got you or you got him? Oh, I got him. I ain't over the side yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got another nice. one? Yeah, he done feel big. Huh? Yeah, the trigger fish starts to show back up a little bit. He look too small. Dude. I think he's gonna be close. Oh, a struggle. Got a struggle. Oh man, I ain't even gonna tell you. Oh, he's still on there. That gum. <laughs> I hear that real. Big old bee liner. Nice one. That one there ain't too small. Uh oh, got somebody's line. Oh, There's a big old one there, boy. There's the one we're looking for. Look at that, he's just big enough. No, man, ain't gonna be close. I think it's gonna be the wrong color, boys. Yes, sir. They're going to get right in here. Yeah. 
Yeah, face first. Well, and just like that, we're back at the dock. Had a great day. The guys did good. Sea liners bit phenomenal. About 20 trigger fish, one good mutton, and four mahi out of about 100 that we saw. So, uh, Time to put the knife on these now and clean them. And also, Anthony was in the bloodline today. He got two knives grouper and a few muttons himself. So uh, when he gets back to the dock, I'm gonna show y'all the grouper. We're gonna go take him over here to this tree, put him on a scale. So y'all stand by for that. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> here, you grab that side of the gill. Yeah. We can uh, wrap that str string around his tail too if we need to. Yeah, y'all weren't lying. Y'all had a big old fat one. Yep. 45.4. That's a beast right there. Who's the grouper magic man? I got you. That's you right there? Yes, nice. Yes, sir. Give me some right there. I'm going to slime me everywhere else. That's nice right there. Look at them muttons. All right. Oh, be careful, it'll slice you wide open, boy. Yes, it will, boy. Well, and just like that, I'm back home. All the fish got cleaned. Both boats did really well. Bottom fishing was on time today. And I, I mean, I think it's because of my new socks. What y'all think? Anyway, thank you for watching. Appreciate you. We'll see you next time.